Well, before spectacular Lego creations come to life, they have to be envisioned. And there's an online tool that helps pave the creative way for Lego enthusiasts everywhere, even if they're just beginners. Joining me now to explain how the digital world helps bring the Lego world to life is Clint Perry, a master model builder at Legoland Discovery Center, Michigan. Thank you for coming in today and bringing all of these wonderful things with you. Absolutely. <laughs> so in my mind, I thought, you know, you had your vision and then you just pick up bricks and you go. But it doesn't work like that. Well, quite. sometimes it does. Okay. Um, so with smaller things, sometimes I might uh, just kind of go to the, my, my wall of bricks and just kind of pick and choose. Uh, but a lot of times when I'm building something that's more complicated or something that's going to be really big, I'll oftentimes design it on the computer ahead of time. Cool. And so what program do you use? So the program that I use is called Lego Digital Designer. Uh, it is actually a free program. It's available to people at home. I've been using it for about 10 years now before I even became a master builder. Uh, it's available for download for free from ldd.lego.com. So cool. it's uh, something that you can kind of tinker around with, you can design. Uh, it's really nice because you can actually build with more brick than you might have available at home to kind of tinker around with. And see what pieces you need. Absolutely. So what are some of the features that really help you? Um, one of the things that's really helpful is it does have a really nice kind of copy and paste feature so that you can kind of build uh, a small section and then duplicate it a bunch of times to kind of make something really big really quickly. Uh, you can also, uh, your regular kind of computer functions, you can undo do something if you maybe put something where you didn't mean to uh, and then you can also go back and recolor and repaint things as well so if you put in something and you want to change how it looks and you can kind of see it on different planes right I mean I saw you could kind of move oh, it yeah. around a yep. little so bit you can uh, f it's a fully 3d uh, functional program so you can totally turn things around you can actually hide sections of it so that you can see inside of something once you've built it and you want to kind of go back and redo it you can always do that now, would you encourage beginners to Absolutely. kind of start there when yes. they're trying to build? Yep, bigger so uh, it's a very friendly program. It's actually provided by the Lego company. Okay. So uh, everything in it is safe and fun for kids to play with. Uh, and it's a really good way to kind of uh, practice your spatial awareness when you're working with Lego pieces. That's awesome. And all of these you've made in the program first. Yes. What's the timing like? Does it take you about the same time to build in the program? Um, no, it, it's considerably faster to design it on the computer <laughs> first, uh, depending on what it is. But most of the time, uh, because you have those abilities to copy and paste, or sometimes you'll undo something. Uh, and sometimes I'll find when I've really gotten into building on the computer, and then I go to build with something in real life, I might build something and then just realize I made a mistake. And then in my head, I've kind of got this knee-jerk reaction, like, oh yeah, I'm going to undo that. And it's like, no, it's the real world. i got to take it apart. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank Thank you so much. I have to ask you really quick, does it pain you to take apart your creations after you're done? Sometimes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much yes, for joining us. Absolutely. I appreciate it.